because uh, Neil Simon is excellent and I was ready to work on my comedy chops. I hadn't done a comedy here at Oakwood for a couple of years and I was glad to be back to do it. I learned that this was going to be a comedy so I wanted to be involved with that. Anything comedy is just my shtick. I want to be involved with something funny. I want to be the funny man, you know? So I auditioned for The Good Doctor and uh, here I am. Well, I originally auditioned for the show uh, because Matt Tatizio here said I really should because he thought it would be good for a part and he really wanted to work with me. I mean, he had friend. friend. Yeah. <laughs> he made me, yeah, he made me do it. it but I enjoyed it. Yeah. I do it because I always do the straight show. Okay. To gain experience with straight shows and just with acting in general. Well, Mr. Mason was my uh, director at the high school for the play there and uh, he told me that I should come out and audition for Oakwood. He said it would be a great experience. Um, so I did, and I had some other friends who were in Oakwood, and they told me it was awesome, so I decided to give it a try. Um, so I came out and auditioned, and I'm glad I did, because it, this has been a great experience. My husband, Matt Natizio, does the straight show every year, and this year he said it was really funny, and he said, Keely, you need to audition, so I did. I originally auditioned because uh, it gives me a chance to hang out with Matt Natizio. Uh, we... I uh, do these shows uh, every year. We have a good time. We have a lot of laughs. Um, and, and it's just a great time. You, you get to make some new friends along the way as well. The second year I've been back uh, doing uh, Open Summer Theater. Uh, and um, uh, I can't do the musical because of my schedule. And so um, this group uh, from Runner Stumbles uh, last year was uh, a lot of fun to work with. And so um, I was very excited to work with most of these guys again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody's going to come up with the same one on this opening night. Matt Jordan. Met an untimely date with an umbrella in the aisle on opening night. As he came running down the aisle yelling, wait, wait, which I'm supposed to ignore and exit, I heard... <laughs> Matt Jordan gracefully tripped and face-planted onto the floor during the first show. And fell on his face. Fall on face shot. Sure you did. You fell flat on your face. I had to really fight the urge to turn around and see what had happened. Good job, Matt. Good job. I think the funniest uh, part of the show is uh, watching my man Will uh, seduce my wife right from my clutches. I think it's hilarious. He does a great job um, and, and really got the audience fired up. Um, nothing in particular comes to my mind, but all the backstage kind of shenanigans that happens um, is always really funny, and it's kind of fun just like having banter back and forth with the castmates. So I look forward to that in the future. Um, well, I think I miss working on the little vignettes and the freedom that Daryl gave us to really experiment and work on our own and, and get better um, with the two or three people that we have each of our scenes with the duality that the majority of the cast has. Any one of us could play more than one role and work well together. And that's that's something that's, in my opinion, hard to do. You know how they say, you know, doesn't play well with others. Well, there hasn't been a single soul on the cast that's had to have that said about them. Everyone plays well together. I would say just like the family atmosphere. I yeah, mean, like you're... Well, even you're gonna miss the people in the show, Yeah, you know? A lot, of, a lot of cool people you meet, and there's people you've done shows with in the past that you don't get to see a lot, and then there's peop new people that you just meet, so I would say I'm going to miss the people. I will miss the cast itself. There are a bunch of great people, funny people, <laughs> um, and I'll just miss the show. Do you know how hard it is to do my lines when I look over? I see just John, like, just like... Just like you know how hard it is to record a video when, like, Uzi just comes in talking? Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely going to miss just the way they made me feel welcome. Uh, this is my first Oakwood show and, um, you know, coming in inexperienced and with all these people who have done many shows in the past and they just made me feel welcome. And I'm definitely going to miss, like, you know, just the backstage um, conversations and uh, the advice that they have given me. Uh, 
Um, I'll miss getting to see everyone every day and again kind of hanging out with them afterward. Um, tonight we're going to Applebee's so um, I'm going to miss you know having those nights together. Just like every year uh, the cast comes together and becomes family. Uh, you, you get used to seeing everybody almost every night or at least a couple times a week and uh, you really enjoy the time you get to spend with one another and, and, uh, and, and the fun that you have. Well, I love the theater, and I love the people, and I love putting a show together. I've always said that my favorite thing about doing a show is the auditions and then the rehearsals, and that the performances, I can always live without if I had to. Well, I mean, if the people weren't here doing the shows with me, I probably wouldn't come out. Plus, because there would be no show. <laughs> exactly. That's that's why I wouldn't come out. I'm not a solo actor. I don't I don't I don't roll like that. Right. Well, I'm just saying, if no, if there, nobody is there, then there's no show. Exactly. All right. I would say uh, same as him. I love the people, just because everyone's got their little quirks, and and uh, Daryl's an awesome director, and Tom, yeah. and just everyone involved is, is really good. And Everything actually. I love the staff, the cast and the experience and the memories that we make here. I definitely love the little family feel of it. Uh, I like doing things for the community and having community uh, uh, turn out and uh, just, just seeing the support from people and everything. Um, definitely love like uh, working with different directors. Uh, Mr. Mason and Mr. Halter had different styles of directing, so it's nice to uh, work with um, with their different uh, outlooks on directing. Um, definitely going to miss, uh, I definitely love the, um, just the, the su overwhelming support that's from the cast and also from the audience. I love that it's a family and that every year it's a lot of times the same folks that usually come out and it's sort of like a second, second family that you, know, you get to hang out with and get to work with. So uh, I enjoy that. and. If you don't already love Oakwood Summer Theater, you should definitely um, consider, you know, joining yourself, and you'll learn to love it too. The opportunity to go out on stage and be somebody else for a little while, and and let loose, and and uh, try something new, and be spontaneous. Uh, that's that's what I love the most. Uh, the people. Uh, I'll say it over and over again. It's uh, you know all of the, the folks um, that do the shows um, work very hard, love their craft. Uh, they're fun to be around, and uh, and that's why I do it mostly to. Um, to be around these great folks. Thank you everyone who has come out to support us, the cast, as well as Mr. Halter, the director, and came to see the show and enjoyed it. Thanks for coming. We we are very thankful for your support, not only for showing up and for keeping this awesome uh, tradition going for the X amount of years that it has been. Yes. Thank and, you. And Daryl uh, Halter is the man. Quite. I would like to thank the people for coming, my family for coming, everyone who comes out and supports community theater and everyone who puts in an effort to make the costumes, the scenes, direct the show, be in the show. And I would like to thank the audience for coming out to support us um, this weekend uh, for continuing to support Oakwood as we will go on with the rest of our shows. Uh, thank you Mr. Halter for being an amazing director and giving me this opportunity. Uh, and just thank um, everybody who made this happen with uh, costumes, props, uh, location uh, with Alloway. Uh, it's definitely been a great experience. So just thank you to everybody for that. We couldn't do it without our great audiences. Oakwood has some of the best audiences uh, out there. And uh, we truly appreciate you coming uh, and um, sharing this experience with us. And, and look forward to seeing you, whatever we do next year. Thank you. Most importantly, I just want to thank everyone for coming out uh, yet again this year. Um, without you, we, we couldn't do this. We, we uh, you know, couldn't have, have our community theater. So you make it happen. So again, uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, please continue to support us, and, and we'll keep putting on good shows. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for coming out to see our show, and we'll hope to see you at Annie Jr. and the Music Man.